Javante Tank Davis, the face of the sport of boxing, the man who everybody is jealous of in the sport of boxing, including female fighters, I'm not even gonna say y'all name. The man shared these pictures on Instagram, he chilling with AB and Shushu Carrington, getting ready for June 15th, where he will be knocking down Frank Martin in under four rounds, mark my words. I might rob you. I got a question for y'all Javante Tank Davis haters, mainly that the Haney fans, cause y'all the only ones hating on Tank. Why is Javante Davis' standard held so high in the sport of boxing? Tank Davis is gonna fight Frank Martin, an undefeated southpaw, very dangerous fighter. Who is Shakur Stevenson fighting? Artum Harotunian, someone Frank Martin already beat. Who is Teofimo Lopez fighting? Steve Claggett. Who the hell is Steve Claggett? Never heard of him. Out of these three opponents, who really is the most dangerous? Y'all know deep down that Frank Martin is the most dangerous. Javante Tank Davis take risks in the sport of boxing. Unlike Shakur Stevenson, unlike Teofimo Lopez. Get mad if y'all want to. Disgusted. Speaking of Devin Haney, AKA Mr. Henderson Nevada, AKA Mr. Glass Jaw, Pillow Fist, Daddy's Little Boy. The man is looking to disqualify Ryan Garcia for that loss that he took on April 20th. Haney's legal team seeks Garcia's disqualification over alleged PED use, IVs, and weight manipulation. How do y'all feel about this? Do y'all really believe that Ryan Garcia should be disqualified from whooping on Devin Haney? In my personal opinion, I stand with Ryan Garcia no matter what the man did. You watching Southpaw TV. And on Southpaw TV, you're going to get Southpaw TV's opinion. In my opinion, that was a masterful performance from Ryan Garcia. Speaking of Devin Haney, I truly believe the man's in trouble. The WBC have officially ordered Devin Haney to defend that belt against lightweight Sander Martinez. Purse bids are on June 18th. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all really think that Devin Haney wants to take on a fighter like Sander Martin after getting beat up by Ryan Garcia? Let's not forget, Sander Martin actually retired Mikey Garcia. That's right, Sander Martin actually beat Teofimo Lopez. I think the man got robbed, but if you go back and watch the fight, I believe Sander Martin beat Teofimo, dropped him twice and everything. But you need to concentrate. I'm trying to tell y'all if Devin Haney was smart, if Devin Haney's team was smart, Devin Haney would be taking a year off of the sport of boxing. The last thing to recover on a fighter after taking the ass open like that is not your face, not your body, but it is your brain. The brain needs rest from all them concussions that Devin Haney took in that fight with Ryan. If Devin Haney was smart, he would stay far away from Mr. Santa Martin. Cause that's a fight Devin just can't win Reporting Speaking of Javante Tank Davis haters Y'all always asking a question Why did Javante put that rehydration clause In his fight contract for Ryan Garcia But who's the real king Of the rehydration clause Who is the king of the catch weight Y'all already guessed it The redhead The king of clan butyrol The most overrated fighter in the history of boxing Canelo Alvarez Shout out to Joey LaRocca on Twitter. Usually on Twitter, you see a whole lot of fake news. But I actually fact checked this graph and it turns out every single name on this graph is absolutely true when it comes to the rehydration clauses that Canelo Alvarez put in the contract. As y'all can see, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. when he fought Canelo, he had a rehydration clause. Amir King Khan had a rehydration clause. Miguel Cotto had a rehydration clause. James Kirkland had a rehydration clause and so did Daniel Jacobs. Alfredo Angulo had a rehydration clause. That was the fight that Canelo took right after he got dominated by Floyd Mayweather. And as we all know, the only win that Canelo got at 175 was against the washed up drained Sergey Kovalev. And yes, there was a rehydration clause in that fight. So who really is the king of the rehydration clause? The king of clambuterol. Canelo was so easy. But I forgot, you're not supposed to talk about things like this when it comes to boxing on the internet. Because then nobody gonna like you. Let me tell you something. 
on Southpaw TV. I got to give y'all the facts. I don't care how y'all feel. Javante Davis had one rehydration clause in his entire career. Canelo Alvarez had seven. Let that sink in. Look, he's accomplished nothing. I know what y'all Canelo fans are going to say. Y'all are going to say... Canelo got a better resume than Tank Holmes. I don't care what y'all talking about. Of course, Canelo's gonna have a deeper resume because he's been fighting 13 years longer than Javante Tank Davis. Of course, he's gonna have a deeper resume, but mark my words. When it's all said and done, Javante Davis will have defeated more undefeated fighters than Canelo Alvarez. Javante Tank Davis is more popular than Canelo Alvarez. Javante Tank Davis is the face of the sport of boxing. Canelo Alvarez, in my opinion, is the king of the rehydration clause in the sport of boxing. Tank over, tank over, tank over everybody. I'll still be more world champions than any fighter in history. 